All right, three, two, one. What is going on, guys? Mike here, aka Don't Poke Your Eyes. I'm gonna be showing you guys my first gameplay of Blastoise and what moves I'm gonna be using: Surf and Hydro Pump. In my opinion, those two moves are good, but people run Rapid Spin, Surf, or Water Spout, and uh, was it Rapid Spin? I think Water Spout. Water Sport and Rapid Spin or Rapid Spin and Surf, but it's only, in my opinion, Water Sport is only good with dealing Zapdos, but if you want to go more aggressive side with uh, Blastoise, then I suggest taking Hydro Pump and Surf. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Squirtle over here. We're going to be using Water Gun. Make sure, just to help your teammate out, Kun and Skull Bash, both uh, Apom and the Corphus. And make sure you scare off the enemy team when you're fighting for that Corphus. So, uh, for those of you guys who didn't watch my beginner's guide, uh, make sure you go do that. But a uh, little bit of an update at 8.50. Uh, the B, I pretty much say the B family, aka Combi and Vespaline, uh, usually pop uh, spawns. And at 7.54 and at 9 minutes... Uh, is when Corphus on the top, the top left, bottom left, usually arrives. I will put like a little pointer to it. But we are now War Toter, and the first thing I got was Hydro Pump. And you see, it does a lot more damage, plus pushes the enemy back. So, and then afterwards, I would score once I did enough damage. But, um,. I am running X speed on Blastoise because for those in case if the enemy team tries to chase me down, what I would do, I would surf them, I would try to surf them back as you will see later on and I, then I would use X speed just so that way I can literally run away from them after I, for example, if it's a scoring position or if I finish off one of the teammates. Another good thing with Surf and Hydro Pump is pushing the and obviously pushing the enemy team away uh, away from the objectives. For example, like Rotom and Dreadnought. If you are running this combo, I would suggest using using Hydro Pump. Was it Hydro Pump first? Then your Unite move. Then I would go with Surf, just to uh, get that ending damage and push them towards your teammates so they could. Finish, so you could finish them off but like I said if you want to go for trying to snipe the Dreadnought uh, stealing stealing Dreadnought or stealing Zapdos or Rotom for example uh, I would go with Water Spout it's Surf it's Surf, Unite Move, then Hydro Pump sorry about that because Hydro Pump and Unite Move and Hydro Pump does so much damage so Save the save Hydro Pump and Unite Move after you surf after you get after you push them towards your teammates. So I forgot to I forgot <laughs> I forgot another thing. When you're getting Rotom, it's good to surf. It's good to surf towards your direction instead of the enemy's direction due to the fact that <laughs> you can get Rotom easier. For example, if the enemy team is trying to steal it with Snorlax's block, um, that way when you and your teammates are getting Rotom, they have hard, they have much of a harder time trying to get Rotom than you guys are. With Blastoise, Blastoise cannot, as you can see over here, Blastoise cannot solo Zapdos because he is not that strong. He is really not that strong. He needs he needs someone to help him out. He's only good for tank. So right over here, if the enemy team were around me, I would surf them away from Zapdos, Unite move, then I would Hydro Pump them back towards their side or whichever side you want to push them uh, away from. So that way I can show you guys how I'm good at the game. If you guys did not know, I just reached matchers. Uh, like a week ago or two. So if you guys want to check out my beginner's guide, make sure to check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be a Machamp uh, 
dynamic punch guide uh, on how to use that instead of submissions. So I will see you guys then. Peace out, guys.